All right. All right, we'll be on. Let's be on. Let's be on. All right, all right. It's going to be just fine. It's going to be just fine. What are we doing? Oh, I like your background, dude. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Colorful. So the mic is definitely going to pick up the audio from this because I can't do headphones when I have a special guest star, Tim Gaffney, everybody. Good. I want it to pick up my audio because I say things sometimes off the cuff. Don't know if you'll pick me up or not, but can can you hear me right now? I think so. I can hear you. I'm thinking dark thoughts. Can you pick up my dark thoughts? <laughs> I don't know if I can pick up your dark thoughts. Dark thoughts not being picked up. Oh, boy. Testing one, two dark thoughts right now. <laughs> Did you pick that up? Uh, I guess we'll see in post. All right. I should well, probably turn back. If you have now. haunting night terrors, it's because you picked up my dark thoughts. You're welcome. Tim, is this the first Let's Play you've ever been in? This, yeah, <laughs> I dare say it is. Oh, that's wonderful. Because I'm taking my first step into a much larger world. <laughs> they didn't think about so much as that they should, it's that they could. Or what's the fucking quote? I screwed that up, didn't I? Uh, it's not <sighs> that. <laughs> Whatever yeah. the quote is, it's not that. Something that Jeff Goldblum says in Jurassic Park. Life finds a way, Ryan. Uh, <laughs> I think that was it. I think you meant to say life finds a way. <laughs> so we're playing Remothered, apparently. Apparently, man. How did this game fly under the radar? I really don't know. So apparently this is a game that is supposedly one of the top rated horror games so far. When the fuck does this even come it's out? It's been blowing up just within the last few months. And if you're a fan of Jodie Foster in Silence of the Lambs, you'll notice the main character is a spitting image. I'm actually a fan of her from Contact. You ever seen Contact? I have seen Contact, yes. What an awful movie. Spoiler alert, it's not good. The better movie is The Core. The Core. Tell me about The same, Core. Same concept, you know? Like, the <laughs> instead of going to outer space, they have to go to the center of the world. It sounds even less good. The only reason I say it's a similar concept is because when the end thing, like, blows up, like the sure. satellite dish or whatever the spaceship blows up, is it's it like, oh, look, there's a billionaire who just happens to have another one. Sure. Okay, sequel. You oh, never yeah. seen The Core? Is Aaron the Eckhart? Core? Fucking A, you know what? I have seen The Core, dude. <laughs> Such a bad That's movie. where they're going down to the Earth's core. <laughs> yes, Funny that's that exactly... it's called The Core. <laughs> Weird, huh? That movie's not good. That's No, it's, it's not, not good. good. It's not good. <laughs> that's what you want. Okay, so I have no idea what we're getting into, but apparently this is a survival horror game. Yeah. It's oh, very clockwork-esque. Most of the time, you'll notice that when I'm playing by myself, I'm terrified. But because I have my Irish brother here, Boy, I'm that's not a lot scared of button at all. Commands. That is a lot of button commands. What oh button God. do I press to shit myself? Uh, I'm going to go with the middle button. <laughs> Mash X to fill your pants. I'm surprised they haven't handed this controller off already. Oh, there's an X to continue. I thought it was loading. <laughs> this, this button diagram is too scary. I can't <laughs> deal with this button diagram. So, is this all true? Oh, there's actual... There, there's voice... Or... All right, we're back. Yeah, we're fine. Christ. Everything's fine. <sighs> Is this our exposition? Uh huh. Mm hmm. I don't know what people like if they want me to talk over it or not, or if they want to actually listen, but nobody actually watches these. I had a solid two views on my last video. Plus, we're talking anyway, so I don't think there's any going back. I mean, I can cut it out. You could do that, <laughs> but then they wouldn't get to hear me talking about how this old lady looks crazy. God, I don't I want to know how many people stand looking out a window while they talk to someone else. Is that, uh, fuck it. Oh my god, I'm spacing on names today. Who plays McGonagall? Um, it's definitely... Maggie Smith. It's definitely Maggie Smith. It looks like her, right? It's 100% Maggie Smith. Absolutely. I don't think we're doing a timing on these episodes either. I think we're just going to play and see how things go. Her cheeks seem really, really incest. Like... Incest? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Correct. In Oh, incest. Oh, oh, I... No, 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 no. Go back to what you said. Okay, go ba so back to incest. <laughs> Let's go on. Um, well... Uh, I'll stop you there. I don't have any siblings Good to purpose. talk about. That, so. That's why I stopped you there. Yeah, I got nothing here. Either way, I think Murder, She Wrote, the video game, has got their main <laughs> actress. How great would it be for a video game like that, though? I'm going to say not very. Have you never wanted to play Little House on the Prairie, the game? I think about it every day before I get up and every night before I get up. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that matters to me. <laughs> We Kojima, get... Kojima has stopped oh. answering my emails. <laughs> he stopped a... answering your yeah. emails. He said, no, at first he was super into it. Super into it. But he didn't know what uh, Little House on the Prairie was. <laughs> I'm sure he wouldn't. And his English is very broken. <laughs> so between the two, the negotiations broke down fast. <laughs> 
Well, I guess that concludes negotiations. Uh, also, she seems crazy. What's happening? I'm assuming we should probably be paying attention, but it helps me with the scare factor if I don't know what's going on, because then it's just the jump scares, which uh, I might make a rule that every time I jump scare, I'm handing the controller off. That's fair. I like that. <laughs> Is she about to play some Gorillas, the new album for us? <laughs> To get it I haven't heard a word she says. <laughs> you know, I still wish to this day that they could get that upper lip. Yeah, that's that's. They can do everything except that. What am I doing? I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. You're gonna find. Oh, Daryl presents. Daryl from The Walking Dead. I'm assuming. So Norman Reedus is involved. Correct. All right. Perfect. They got Norman Reedus. Good for them. Well, then this that must is. be the successor to PT. Good for them. Yeah, it is. Good for them. <laughs> Oh, we're just going to talk over this fucking cutscene here. That's no big deal. It's fine. Ooh. They have tires. They do have tires. That's cool. Do you think anybody, like, when there's tires in, like, a park like that, do you think anybody, like, shows up one day and is like, oh, I got a flat, and they're like, holy shit, perfect! I case, uh, you know, uh, like, various jungle gyms for tires all the time. When I'm driving around the city, I'm looking for tires. Anything that I can go back to. Are you a hubcap fan, or are you more like actually getting your own rims? Ryan, hubcaps, so overrated. Don't even get me started on hubcaps. Okay. There's a swing. I, let's talk more about swings. Let's talk more about swings. Yeah. Well, I am into swing dancing. What I've noticed is swings, they tend to never stop on their own. They're always swinging slightly like that. Ominously, right? Yeah. It's kind yeah, of it's strange. Like, you walk by a park at like 4 o'clock in the morning, and for some reason that swing's still going. Smoking's bad, by the way. Jody Foster. Jo it's okay, seriously. Like, <laughs> I, was, I, I thought you were joking for a no. little bit, but oh my god, Get is that Jody Foster. Future Ryan, put up a picture of Jody Foster right next to this bitch. Tell me, Clarice, do you still wake up to the howling of the lambs? <laughs> that was not the greatest. It's not impression. gonna be. It's not gonna be. Oh my god, it's driving me crazy now. She looks a bit wonky. Flare those nostrils. You can tell she rubs her nose too there, That's a three-seater! Look at that! Oh, good for her. She can afford it's a three-seater. But, but she cannot afford power windows, apparently. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> those were optional. She got the three-seater with the analog windows. <laughs> Did you want bucket seating? Nah. No. Get a vape, for real. Cigarettes aren't good for you. I, I, I'm assuming that this game is not set in no, 2018. No, no, no. Uh, you're, don't date too deep. Not to date this video by any means. Get a means, vape. But... Get some blueberry waffle vape juice or whatever. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <my God>! <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> I'll bet you this game will actually be pretty fucking great. But I'm like, we're just. I'm already in love with it. I'm like the the title sequence is so far my favorite part about the whole thing. Oh shit. Uh, oh. It's like seven. Res seven or. What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, God. What's in the box? Oh my god! I was watching something, the other day. Oh, have you ever seen? Uh, you ever seen iZombie? I have seen it. Okay, how far are you into it? I have just started it. So okay, so this this won't spoil anything, but there was a joke later on in the show where, like, one of the guys, like, cuts this other zombie's head off, and fucking, he made the greatest joke ever where, like, the head's just, like, sitting on top of the bar, and he's like, yeah, I'm gonna ship you off to Gwyneth Paltrow, you think she'll get it? <laughs> And it took me a second. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, my God. That was, like, the greatest joke of all time. Should I go left? That seems like, like the right place First to go. First of all, go left. Second of all, if I knew Gwyneth Paltrow personally, I would send her cardboard boxes just full of random stuff all the time. <laughs> just for the lulls. <laughs> Thanks for being our pepper pot. How about you? Yeah, you're right. How about, like, a vacuum-sealed head of lettuce? Just send it to her in a box. Are we going to talk about why does she run like this? Are, is she wearing heels? Oh, it's because of the heels. It's because no, of the no. heels. That's how I run. That's how you run? Mm -hmm. Cut in a video of Tim running like this. I need a solid three feet on either side of me for my arms. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make well, it's a good thing right. that this pathway has enough cl no, clearing exactly. for you. I need a good nine foot clearance to be able to run through a hallway. <laughs> Not hours. this way. Why would you tell me? To... Oh, Jesus Christ. I feel like you've been running for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. We'll, uh, we'll speed cut this real quick. I like her Barbara Walters pantsuit, like uh, Prince of Tides, kind of like, what therapy session did she just run out of? <laughs> you can fit a lot in that purse. Oh my god, she's got the wiggle though. She, yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. Unfortunately, I'm not into my Jodie Fosters. 
She looks frightened. She's overdressed for running through the woods. I just want to point that out. For the people who are actually paying attention, I'm sure she's dressed the appropriate amount. Oh, did I actually come to the right way? People who have been paying attention know a lot more than we do at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I always feel anxious when looking at some icons. Icons and mirrors. Icons and mirrors? What can you look at that doesn't get you anxious then? Those are everywhere. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Dr. Dick Felton. That's cool, she's an order. Dick Felton? What? Hmm. You know, I know we're drinking brandy, but we should totally be drinking, like, Bahama Mamas during this. That would be amazing. <laughs> Hit me with a Bahama Mama. <laughs> we, I could probably make us a vodka martini here. The Santa Margarita Institute said martini. Felton and Gato. I know. This is like the most I've drank at this time of day, Hello? like ever. Perfect. <laughs> Your viewer is expected at this point. Oh, God. My wife only thinks I'm an alcoholic. Smart. She doesn't know you're one yet? Oh, well. <laughs> Love you. Uh, you're not watching this. I, I hold up a heart, but I have brandy in my <laughs> hand, which makes it hard. Okay, cool. So we made it to the Outlast house. Much. Where's my camera? Can I use my phone camera? <laughs> I can't get over the and running. she really needs a lot, I, of, a ha, lot of horizontal ha, space. Where are you get to? By the way, I use my walk of a woman's back. <laughs> I'm, I'm really warm. Can I lay underneath you while you run? <laughs> and you can fan me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I want, you know what, dude? Imagine her with rollerblades on. Oh, that'd be, so the, <laughs> the, 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 the arm movements would make go. sense at that Look point. Look at her go, man. Rollerblading through the. So let's the hope park. that this game ends with her being at a roller ring trying yep. to pick up some dyke. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was mean. That was it's 2018. Hard, I shouldn't use dyke. That was a hard drop. I just, I. There's certain insults that I used when I was a kid that you just can't say Super anymore. Insensitive. Apologize to. The dyke community. Oh. And now you made me say it. I don't feel good about it. <laughs> well, either. I'm sorry that I'm an influence. I don't on feel you. good about it. You either. made me. I've, I've only had like six drinks today. That's your fault. It's like, what time is it? It's four o'clock in the afternoon. That's fair. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I'm not sure how to take this seriously anymore. But I might play this on my own. <laughs> yeah. Only if I can get a Helen Hunt skin instead. Because I would prefer Helen Hunt. Did you just say Helen Hunt to me? Yes. <laughs> I'm the Jack Nicholson skin. <laughs> you just had one! <laughs> she smokes a lot. That's too much. That's too much. We've been playing this game for no time at all. You smoke two cigarettes. Good evening. I am Good evening. I am <laughs> I'm blowing out the microphone because I'm not monitoring levels, so go fuck yourself. Why do their teeth always look so perfect? Dude, I asked, I've always asked the same question about, like, movie stars in general. Unless you're Tom Cruise, you've seen that fucking gap thing. Not, not gap thing that he has, but, like, his teeth, like, don't align properly. That's all I see when I look at him. I only see him running. That's, like, all he ever does. I'm just assisting normal. I'm Don't look nervous. at it. Look at the gaps in between. I don't know. It's okay. I suppose you want to talk to him. If there's a way for me to set up headphones on I both of us, I think that would be even better. Yeah, I can't hear nothing but your voice. She is literally letting her walk into this house smoking. God. I am Gloria. Put the yellow on the walls. Look at that wallpaper. She's going to ruin it. Well, Mr. Felton hates the smell of smoke. <laughs> Refrain from smoking inside. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Okay. we're both, both of us smoking. Yeah. Even though this is my own house, I will not light up a smoke in my own basement. Yeah, right? I would get in a lot of trouble from that. Also, have you noticed my perfect teeth? <laughs> I can't see you, Tim. Please, lean closer. Look at their shape. Would you mm. care to sketch them? <laughs> they are beautiful. All right. Can I run in here? Oh, okay. she's not letting me run in the house either? That's not fair. You can only walk really awkward. Hey, I got a trophy. Hey, the arrival. Your arm is moving weirdly slow. You're voguing, dude. You are voguing up and down. This God damn right I am. <laughs> I'm too sexy you for my great. walk. Too sexy for my walk. So sexy. I don't know how long I can sing songs before I get in trouble for copyright. Let's find out. Well, let's be honest. Yeah. Nobody's watching this anyway, so it's not like I'm making any money. So go fuck them. Themselves. Yep. Go fuck them themselves. Go fuck them themselves. That's a shirt. 
Her hair is like so perfect it's plastic. I hate how much it's fucking Silence of the Lambs. It is. Dude. So I hope we run into like a Hannibal Lecter esque person. Some Buffalo, somebody tucking it back. Ooh. Buffalo Bill just posing. I mean, I'm tucking it back right now. Like, I don't know about you. Would you fuck me? Me. Would you would, like? Would you actually <laughs> fuck yourself? Like, if like there was a clone of yourself that showed up, would you do it? Am I tucked back? That's. I guess that's up to your clone <laughs> or you. And the answer to every question you ask is yes. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> would it be like Doctor Manhattan style? It's everything like, I do like is like Doctor Manhattan style. I get up in the morning and I dust my dig blue, just in case it pops out. <laughs> I want it to look like Dr. Manhattan. I dust my dick blue. Yep, yeah, you don't get blue dick dust? Uh, I mean, I get blue dick. Well, here's the thing. If you want to get BDD, go to Hot Topic. They sell the best BDD for dick dust that you can buy. Um, they sell it by the ounce. <laughs> and their shirts are usually Bogo. I just, Tim, I just can't even with you right now. Uh... She, where did she come from? She still has her ID badge. I was just gonna, I was just gonna comment on the ID badge, the yeah. fact that she's still rocking what is it. This? Give me some exposition. Oh, we're not even paying attention, so does it matter? Fact. <laughs> we're gonna have to watch this back, <laughs> so in the next episode we can comment on it and be like, <laughs> okay, so we have an idea what's going on. What did we learn? Oh, that white dot tells you everything you need to know. We'll pay attention a little bit more, I promise. Uh, Tim, can you read that? The coronation of a virgin. A young girl gazes into a sky above with stunned eyes and a light hits her. But something is out of place. From the dark sky that threatens storms are descending the hideous hands of stranger creatures. This picture makes me feel uncomfortable. So that was Tim Gaffney's voice reel. You're very welcome. Um... That Higher. was not me being Clarice. <laughs> uh, I, I was going to say, that's a terrible Clarice. <laughs> really not Clarice. It was better than your Anthony Hopkins, though. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'll give you that. Uh, Anthony's not a fan. Uh, could you imagine if Anthony Hopkins, like, all he did, like, he doesn't watch cable TV or anything, he's just like, I'm all YouTube. Like, I'm a huge Markiplier fan. How about this, like, Netflix eight-hour special, Anthony Hopkins reads the phone book. <laughs> I'll take the weekend off. Thank All you. right, I'll, I'll take this one here. From beginning to end, yes. Mr. and Mrs. Fe oh my God. Mr. and Mrs. Felton's farm. Rosa Gallo closes danger of contamination. I'm a little tipsy. Uh, wingman and Felton's indicated for alleged criminal activity against consumers and production employees. October 2nd, 1971. The Rosa Gallo farm, pride of the gallows. Closes, oh my god, closed due really to suspected dramatic. contamination. It has been reported that many products have been infected by toxic pollen that could be the cause of severe parasitosis. Damn parasitosis. The owner, Ariana Grande, top right. Her <laughs> husband, the notary, Richard Felton, <laughs> bottom right. Profession. <laughs> Professor, company's partner, Albert Elias Wyman. God, do not play this game drinking. Large picture. And under investigation, the latter has been allegedly accused by Felton himself of having used the company to carry out pharmaceutical experiments taking advantage of corporate funds at his will. Indeed, the warning came from residents of the company's headquarters. The Ashmans, who managed the building, supervised the harvesters, the sisters of adjoining convent. Photo. Oh my god! What? No. That's so much tight. <laughs> Among the reported symptoms, painful ulcers, vomiting, proliferation of parasites, and, in some cases, keratosis photos photosensitivity, following the heavy <laughs> allegations, both the Feltons and Ashmans received numerous threats from Wyman himself, who has been removed from the Order of Phoenix today. <laughs> Wyman stated he is shocked by the charges and pointed his finger to the former business partner, Richard Felton, in no relation to Tom Felton, who played Draco Malfoy, he personally funded me. It is worth noticing that Felton himself, like his father, promoted the funded something project, a drug for which Wyman himself was nominated for the prestigious medicine award in 1957. But that was retired from the market a few years later due to the dis disastrous side effects. Meanwhile, even at Felton's house, which has been used as location for... Oh my god. Product <laughs> distribution. Oh, so much you can do I that. lost my spot. Yeah. As a matter of fact, the Ashmans claimed a substantial refund for the damage they suffered because even their children have been infected and as a consequence used as unaware test subjects. 
The authorities assume that the contamination has developed the groundwater, not only used for irrigation of nearby plantations, but also as a common source for the Ashmans and the Twelve Sisters of the nearby monastery. Press circle to put down. I am not going to the other side. Go fuck yourself. That was involved. Oh my god. I'm proud of you. Let me just tell you, I'm proud of you. I you hurt. didn't break character. I actually hurt. Time. Like, I think we need to take a break. This is what they count on when they play this game. They count on somebody like you to read this aloud. Oh, my God. How many people actually, like, read this stuff, like, in its it would be too easy. entirety? Well, the word majestic comes to mind just now. Wow. This is the kind of fairy tale I prefer at my age. When he was worn out from oh, look, it's Buffalo Bill. Yeah, for real. Start having some doubts. Why is there so much life in such small but lethal creatures? And okay, your audio is not off. The dubbing is just that bad. It's human nature. <laughs> Things don't look good. In which we are equal to those ants eating each other. But pardon me, I forgot my manners. Please sit down. There wasn't. There. I, I don't remember there being a chair on this side. I must have missed that. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. So you already met Gloria. Yes, she let me in. She's a great reference. Extreme what is that? Thinking, but back to us. By the way, I'm recording this conversation, if you don't mind. <laughs> By the way, I am flattered She's about to get weird. Oh, no, no, this is just for my diabetes. <laughs> type 3. <laughs> yes. you heard about this type. <laughs> I have both types, which equal to 3. That's right. And in a few words? In a few words. They didn't know how to treat my case, and they left me there to die. But it seems that other issues to I once or twice. Okay, I'm sorry, I just heard the exam. voice actress for the first time on Jody Foster, and I'm not a fan. See if you should sound more like Okay, we're gonna have to go watch Silence of the Lambs because I think you need a rehash on your Clarice. Do you still wake up to that? Shrinking up the entertaining yet. Welcome to the Hannibal episode. <laughs> Where I do a terrible animal all time. Your diagnosis. <laughs> Mads Mikkelsen for life. Ah. Uh, Anthony Hopkins, yes. Disease, but, however, we can forget, forget the fucking, yes. what, Hannibal Rising movie? Uh, fuck that thing. Hurt my feelings. I will say this, though. The actor who played him was amazing. Learning that he ate his younger sister, spoiler alert. That was just like Dumbledore. Yeah, Dumbledore ate his younger sister too. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I don't know why I keep going to the Harry Potter references. In I don't this. know why. Dumbledore <laughs> ate his younger sister, Super Gay Bones. That's the things we know about him. Love him to death. <laughs> That's how him and Grindelwald got along. <laughs> By the way, ate my sister. Wanna bang? I ate my sister. Let's bang. I'm Super Gay Bones, and uh, Harry Potter's gonna be great. She's the one who takes care of me when Gloria is off. <laughs> Somebody wipe the slick of sweat off their faces. They all look too shiny. No, Tim, that's what you have to do when it comes to a game engine. You have to make people as super sweaty as possible. Why do they make them so shiny? <laughs> they just look like they're always in a really moist room. <laughs> You know? Well, it's kind of like being under uh, like movie lights, right? Because they're super That's fucking hot. So, uh, but at the same time, we want more immersion. So, somebody just came in and was just like, "Here's a bucket of water, splash!" <laughs> Kratos got a boy. You look like you've been misted. Let's wipe you down. And by wipe you down, is what my daughter decided to do. Go ahead. <laughs> Please start from the feet and work your way up. I'm played by a black man. <laughs> And I'm the whitest man of all. Per perfect casting. Perfect casting. We're gonna okay. We're gonna hit the PlayStation button. We're gonna go to God of War. I know you've been trying to forget her. I mean, please, if you're actually watching this, you're not here for the fucking story. And if you are, we're we're making a challenge. Isn't she your daughter? Fuck. To point out how big his sleeves were. Jennifer, <laughs> I, I know that's what I most of you are thinking. Look at that man's sleeve. No Those are, that's a hell of a sleeve. Do you, do you really think I'd come here without knowing what I'm Who talking are about? You and Who are you? Did you come to my home to threaten me with your condescending tone? Threatening toes? you? So maybe I should ask your wife then. She's not home. She's dead. I killed her earlier. It was like five minutes ago. Like choking the bitch out on the floor. I'm talking to my wife. Did you just snort? I have some cocaine. Well, yeah. Oh. Quick. Yeah. Real quick. <laughs> this is on the internet, Tim. Uh, what's that? <laughs> like it's a fucking. I'm forced to play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> I'm held against my will. 
with a rain that's like a steady stream. Long drop. Speaking of steady Long streams, drop. I'm getting old. Uh, Have you hit yourself? Not yet. Let it go. How did you know that key was there? Also, Tim, do you have any idea why we're going back? Mm -hmm. Time travel. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did we not dive into that yet? <laughs> uh, what? This game is deep, dude. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure it out because, like, in most horror games, sure, sure. you know, you sit there and you're like, "Why mm -hmm. am I here?" Correct. You know, like you're walking around, like you can't walk out the front door because there's fucking crazy like zombie dogs out front. As an example, run as a, uh, as an example. Yeah. So why is she going back? As far as I went, as far as I'm concerned, the interview went really poorly. Seemed a little out of place. From what I can gather, is I paid far too little attention to the exposition. Should I save my game? Save your game. I will save it. I will save it. And because we've made so much progress. She's traveled back in time. I'm just going to assume that there's no. Is there like okay? Uh, flashlight tutorial. Bear with me real quick here. This may take a while. Uh, R. Uh, flashlight switch. Some areas of Felton Mansion are really dark. You've lost me. It may be difficult to find your bearings. Press the flashlight switch to light up your way. But remember to turn it off if you do not want it to stick out. Oh, great. Don't. Yeah, you don't want to stick out, man. Well, unless you kind of want to peacock and be noticed wait, by people. Wait, that's my flashlight. Do one more time. It's off. Okay. It's on. That's, nope. <clears throat> That's silly. So you're telling me I have, oh dear God. Read it out loud. <sighs> Set it up. No, diversion items, oh my God. It's important for your reading training too. My reading training, yeah. I'm only at a third grade level. Yeah, keep going. Oh my God. That's I'm not, so I'm much. sorry, That's I'm not so reading much. this. I'm just going to gather that. And Apparently I text. have I have a grenade <laughs> and I can throw it. That's far too much text. Did I pick it up? Okay. So R2. No, no, don't throw it now. I did. <laughs> Something tells me you didn't need to do that. I wasted it. Did it blow up? Uh, I think I just threw a glass oh, bottle. Oh, I think it's just to distract people. This is so... Ooh, awkward. sneak. You know what would have been a good idea? We could have taken off our heels. Click, click. I like the way they make you move, though. I like the way you move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel so fucking invasive right now. Like, kind of looking through someone's ass. So we are, diverted. as far as I'm concerned, this is literally breaking and entering. And you're picking up things to throw later on. Oh please, okay. Oh, get under that couch. Are we good? Apparently, you're gonna have to do some hiding. <sighs> Fuck me. To go out. Apparently we're. I have to. I have, I have to distract them. I have to hide. I'm not a fan of these game mechanics. Can they just go there. through a story and not do anything? It's all very clock tower. Tim, you're about to probably see me get very scared. God, if Matt was here, he would fucking be already like trying to make me jump. Just fucking dive down that hallway, man. See what you run into. Well, I gotta. I gotta check this shit out here. Okay. Nothing. Weird. Okay, as a game mechanic, why even? Like, I understand the idea of, like, I need to look for things, but if there's going to be nothing there, don't make me do it. There's a dictionary in the bookshelf you can look up words in. Oh, and of course, yeah. there's a thunderstorm. What's this? We might have to blur that. It's got tense. It's kind of arousing emotions in me. We're going to take a five. Can we take a quick five? Yeah, hold on a second. Cool. And we're back. Oh, great. I'm exhausted. Can we wait, hold on? Can we take another quick five? And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> exhausted. Uh, oh man. <laughs> Two times in five minutes. I and picked up another diversion. Should I throw it? Can we? Yeah, throw it. <laughs> Why not? Distract yourself. What? What? What is it? Uh, oh fuck it. It's a. It's a SpongeBob quote. Floor it. <laughs> Floor it. No. Big toe! Ha! Ha! Okay. <laughs> oh, this is closet. Get in there. Yep, there you go. Oh, I feel safe. I do not. I just feel really comfortable I right now. I do not. Really? Oh, I feel so safe. Oh. I hope this guy doesn't find me. She creeps so carefully. Oh. Good God! Really? So hiding... 
diversion, and defense. I'm picking up a goddamn butter knife. Got to read up on that knife quick. All right, hold on a second. This is very Got it. clock tower, dude. So you don't even attack. You have defense. Okay, so we're playing clock tower next. We are basically... Can I get that on the PlayStation Network? Uh, give me a minute. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for looking that up. I appreciate you it. You are welcome. I had to cross-reference <laughs> <laughs> you had to access the mainframe. Yep, yeah, I had to look that up. Wait. Well, there's something there. There's something there. Oh, good, another diversion item. She, I like how she scooped it up. Just like, and I got it. Oh, there's another one. We'll pick it up. I, up. I thought I... Oh, oh, okay, so I'm... Now, sorry, now I'm looking at the right corner you, of the you, screen. Your bag is too full of scissors to hold a bottle. No, apparently I have a bottle of bleach. We're going to take the bottle of bleach. Is that music? Throw it in their eyes. Okay, do I want the scissors or do I want wow. the? Uh, it's like a spade, like a garden. Yeah, spade. The, the the not the trough. I don't know what's called. Not a trough. Not a trough. I was, I was gonna say a spade. That doesn't sound right though. Yeah, it's okay. Viewers, are right in. Tell us what the fuck. Yes, please like, <laughs> comment, and subscribe tell of us what, what it is. Gardening tool. Like it. Subscribe. Tell us what gardening tool. Look at this picture quick. It's perfectly normal. Who are they? Maybe some of Dr. Felton's distant relatives? That look, matters. They don't look dead and creepy at all. Let me just open this drawer quick and leave it open. Let me open this drawer Can I too. close it? Because I feel really rude. Oh, good. Okay. It doesn't make me uncomfortable. Sorry. I just, that, that just seems like really rude. It's like walking, like I should turn this light off because they're burning electricity. I agree. Can you walk around and put coasters under the drinks that are sitting around on tables? Tutorial! Doors! For a door opening. <laughs> Hit this button followed by this button and mash this button. To Someone open might the be lurking behind the door. Before you go in, you can peek to see if there's an enemy on the other side. Hold door instead if you're a cha- Oh my fucking god. Hold on. <laughs> Brick! Father! Oh, Maybe okay. I need something to use this. I could have told her that. Dude, like... I am way too drunk to taste this chicken. The challenge of this game is mostly opening doors. <sighs> oh, that was thunder. I was like, what the fuck was that noise? Let's try this door. Maybe she needs to go to the bathroom. I got a good feeling about this door. Do you? Nope. Nope. <laughs> wow, anticlimactic. <sighs> I'm happy I bought this game, Tim. You should be. This is obviously life-changing. <laughs> life-changing is the way to put it. Are Look these doors? At, I just want to learn how to creep like that. It looks exhausting. It really does. It does. You know what I've always wanted to do when, like, there was a scary situation? Yeah. Go downstairs. Smart. Good call. I like to leave my car keys just up on the top step. Oh, you're right. You're not going to need them. Not going to need them. So what would you do in this situation? Like, when the first, like, really freaky thing, like, ghost or anything happens, like, you yourself, what would you do? I'd run into the most secluded part of the house with the least amount of access points, and then I'd probably curl up and tuck my knees up to my chest and kiss and your then, ass goodbye yeah and then probably once i found myself dehydrated from the tears i'd fall asleep well good to know yeah no i'm a survivalist you know i would just fucking leave i fight till i live oh that's good to know so assuming i woke up and the police had hopefully resolved the situation by then hopefully then they could maybe give me a bottle of water and like a scotch blanket maybe eat some hot cocoa and let me know everything's going to be okay. I have a feeling that's bad. What you do? I, I'm literally just hitting buttons. It sounds like you did something loud. I'm going to hide. Well, she's walking around as though she's hiding, but from what? So I hit that. Is anybody going to come to investigate? That's the question. That's really annoying. I feel like if we paid more attention, we'd have a better idea of what's going on. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Something tells me whatever shenanigans she gets into, she has it coming. She seems pretty unruly. I don't feel like it's our fault at all, either. Not mine. <laughs> oh, thanks. That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have no control. <laughs> but you, however... This I is all on you, motherfucker. I cannot forgive the things you've done. If you ruin this game... 
Oh my god, a door's open. Absolutely. It's a horror game. Oh, by the way, this shirt's getting a little dirty. Okay, here's a question for you. So, washer, dryer, and... Tumbler. Second dryer? And third machine. Third <laughs> machine. We have to wash them again. Washer, dryer, shaper. Sh shaper. It into oh, is that, the, is that the folder? Yeah, yep. Because that makes sense. I like to fold them into like that triangle, like crane fold. That I like to fold it, in. fold it. Yeah. <laughs> You've picked up a diversion item. We I seem to do. What items are not diversion items? Dude, I don't even know. I have to pee so fucking bad though, so I'm gonna hand this off. Just do it, right? Um, hopefully, if I'm lucky, I'll find more diversion items. It's on you now. I know you didn't get scared. I'm but... really eager to find more diversion items. I've got enough stabby things. I don't need more stabby things. Why keep giving me these knives if I don't have anyone to stab with them? I just feel safe. I just feel safe in here. I have nobody to hide from. All right, let's see how much trouble I can get us in just while he's in the bathroom. Nope. And then I drop, and I wiggle with it. Oh, and then I drop, and I wiggle with it. What? And then I drop, and I wiggle with it. What? All right. That was worth it. I'm not gonna flush for audio's sake. So I beat the game. Oh, fantastic! Mm hmm. Cool. It's a bad idea, but I'm doing it. Yeah, pour me up one. Turns out all the doors are locked. Turns out, if I hit this button repeatedly, it kind of looks like I'm dancing. So it's not going to be just be like, and that wow. was time really well spent. Was it? Can I tell you what I found? Yeah, go right ahead. Myself. Kind of searching, <laughs> soul searching. Soul searching? Yeah. Well, wow, cheers to soul searching. All right, love it. Oh, that had liquor in it. Yeah, no, it wasn't actually water. You put liquor in that. I did. Okay. I, I I did my best. Cool. This oh. cup of ice, does this have liquor in it? Yeah. Oh. It is 4.30. Oh, there's a lot of liquor in that. I try to pour them light. Smart. Good call yeah. about this. So, I don't know how to end episodes, because I'm told by my friends that I shouldn't end them like Markiplier, because that's all I want to do. How about a cliffhanger? How about a cliffhanger? All right. What do you got? I'll tell you right now what I got. 